Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to show you an exercise that I do which helps to develop my seventh arpeggios, connect them together and how I conceptualize them and how I associate them with the uh, scale tones and things like that. Uh, I've created a PDF uh, a tab of the exercise which you can download and I'll link to it in the description field. Um, uh, feel free to download it, it, it probably will help with this one because there's quite a lot of information here. Uh, the exercise itself looks quite daunting when you look at the tab, but it really does break down into some quite straightforward uh, concepts and layers. So even if you're not ready to take it all on, you can always start with uh, a smaller part of it. So I'll show you how it breaks down. So let's get on with it. Okay, so for the whole of this exercise, I'm just going to be playing in this key of C major and just sticking in one position, which is uh, the position up at the seventh fret where your first finger is on the seventh fret. You actually start play the first C on the eighth fret with your second finger. And I'm just going to stay in that pattern all the way through. Uh, I've tabbed that out in the PDF as well, just so you're, you're aware of the, uh, the scale position. And what I'm intending to do is to play through all seven seventh arpeggios that can be found in that shape. And if you have a look at the main exercise, you'll see I've written the chord above each arpeggio as we play through them. Now the sequence may look familiar to you because I'm using the circle of fifths again to move through them. However, I am staying within the key of C rather than modulating through different keys. So uh, you'll see I'm starting with uh, C major seventh to uh, F major seven. Then, what's that? B minor 7 flat 5, E minor 7, A minor 7, D minor 7, G7, and C major 7. And uh, I go around that cycle twice. Uh, you'll often em encounter these kinds of progressions or progressions based on the circle of fifths. So it, it is worth familiarizing yourself with the, the entire progression because you will encounter it in lots of songs. So the exercise might look complex, as I say, but you're really just moving through seven arpeggio patterns twice. Um, now, when I play an arpeggio, I tend to visualize the associated chord with it as well. So I that's what I have going through my head is, is actually the chord shape. So the very first arpeggio, for example, is the C major seventh. And the chord shape I've got in my head is just the, the C bar chord, you know, the E bar chord on the eighth fret. Um, uh, so that's in my mind when I'm playing. And then I move on to F major 7. So again, what I've got in my head is the A bar chord on the 8th fret. Um, and then I'm moving on to B minor 7 flat 5, which is, uh, again, I'm thinking about it in terms of the, the bar chord on the 7th fret here. to E minor 7 and as you can see this is just the A minor shape up on the 7th fret then uh, moving on to A minor 7 and for this one I'm not I'm not here I'm up on, I'm still remaining up on the 7th fret so I'm thinking about it in terms of a D minor bar chord the arpeggio is just there. As I say, I'm, I'm, I'm whizzing through these arpeggios because the, the tab is available on the, in the description field, so feel free to download that. So that's the D minor 7. And then G7, again I'm thinking in terms of C bar chord. For my, so a C bar chord up on the 7th fret, which is or C7 uh, kind of shape up on the 7th fret and that gives you my, my G7 sound. And then I'm back to 
back to my C major 7th again. Now, one final thing uh, you may notice is um, that I'm, I go through, I go up and down three times for each one of these arpeggios. And the idea here is to work on the transitions between them because the two classic places to transition between one arpeggio and the next is either from, from the high string, so... Uh, so that's moving between the C major 7th and the F major 7th. Uh, and so if you do that, you'll find that uh, if you go through the whole shape twice, uh, doing an up, down, up on C major 7th, then down, up, down on F major 7th. You need to go through the pattern twice in order to move through both transition points. So that's really all I'm doing there. If you want to approach this in a, in a structured way, the way I would recommend you doing this would be firstly learning the circle of fifths, learn all the chord shapes and how, they fit them to, how to fit them together. Uh, then work on each arpeggio in isolation uh, and remember to visualize it against the chord so the chord that it maps against just so you've got you've got something to anchor the shape and you can move as you move the chord around you know how the arpeggio will move around uh, and then work on connecting the arpeggios up work on the transitions between the two so have fun with it and i'll see you next time